Ladies and gentlemen, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do, a step-by-step -step system in order to make your trading view charts look awesome. Let's begin. So first of all, you need to go on tradingview.com. Once you're on this website, you're going to get to this homepage. Click these three lines, just like this. Go into products, click on that, and then go to super charts. Once you click on that, you're going to see the default chart of TradingView. Everything is messy, it's all over the place. And I'm going to show you what you need to do, a step-by-step -step system in order to transform your chart from looking like this to looking like this. Stay tuned. All you need to do is right click on these bars, this volume bars right here, right click on them and click remove. Okay. So that's done. It is already looking better. Okay. Now the second step that we are going to undertake is removing all these rectangles. We are going to remove them because most of the time you actually do not really need it. If you're trading Forex, then you don't really need it. Believe me. Now, right click on the screen, click on settings and then go into canvas. Once you're in canvas, right here, we have background and grid lines. Go into the grid lines, vertical and horizontal right there. Click on this square and move the opacity from six to zero. Click OK. Now, as you can see, we've already removed the vertical lines. The only ones left right now are the horizontal ones. Once again, you go into settings, canvas, grid lines, go into the second square, click on that, and then move the opacity from six to zero. Okay, just like that. Already, your chart is looking much, much better. So that is step number two. Step number three, we are actually going to select a Forex pair. All you have to do is click here into this section, symbol search, and let's go for Euro USD. There you go. Let's select Oanda. Oanda is my favorite broker, but you can select any one of this FXCM, Oanda, Forex.com, and so on and so forth. Click on this one right there. Boom. There you have it. Now you are seeing an actual Forex pair in front of your eyes. Okay. So these candlesticks are on a daily time frame. Depending on your strategy, you can change it to daily, four hour, one hour. It all depends on what you're trading. Next thing that we're going to do is change the background. So what we're going to do this time is we're going to go into this section over here, chart settings, click on that, and then go into background. Instead of having a solid, make sure it's on gradient. On gradient, we first select this white and the second square is going to be one, two, three, one, two, three, just like that. So now your chart is looking like this. Now, if you prefer any other color, you can definitely do that. But this is the color scheme, which I'm going with. So as you can see, there's a nice little gradient tint going on and make the chart look nice and modern. Now we are going to change the colors of our candlesticks, right click settings. And now we're going to symbols in symbol. We have the body, the borders and the wick. So all these green squares, we're going to change them from green to blue, green to blue, green to blue. Okay. And all these red squares, we're going to change them to black. Just like that. So now, as you can see, it's looking much better. So first of all, the black candles are the bearish candles, which means that the price is going down. Every time you see black, price is going down. Every time you see a blue candle, the price is going up. So that's very simple. But as you see in this chart, you may be confused exactly where you are in terms of the day or the price action. So next thing that you're going to do is right click on the chart, go into settings and go to the section called events. And in the events, you need to select session breaks, make this line black, click OK. And now look at this. So what are we seeing? We're seeing this vertical dotted lines right there which are separating each day. We are currently on the one hour time frame. Each one hour represents how much volume moved within that particular hour. Because we are on a one hour time frame, there are 24 candles, there are 24 hours in a day, which means that the total number of candles we are going to have on a one age time frame is 24 candles right there. So this is our current day. This line separates today and yesterday. So this is yesterday. Then we get another vertical line. There we go. And that is the day before yesterday. So as you can see, the chart is already looking much, much better, much more pristine. 
and it's going to be easy on the eyes. It's going to be easy for you to understand what is happening within the price action. I'm also going to remove the circles. All you have to do is right click on them and click hide events on charts. That is it. Now, I like my chart to be super clean, so I'm also going to remove this section over here. It shows you the OHLC, open, high, low, close. And we do not really need that, to be quite honest. We're going to right click on the chart, go into settings, status line, and deselect OHLC values. OHLC stands for open, high, low, close values. So we still have this little tiny section left. Right click, status line deselect bar change values and we can also remove the logo you see the section here that is the logo i mean if you want to leave it that's up to you i like to remove it and um, the only thing i like to remain on the chart is literally the currency pair and the time frame that i'm trading on that's it so click ok and look at that look at how pristine everything looks now we can draw on the chart we can understand what is happening all of that we also have this line right here this line is showing us where the price is currently you can keep it if you want to i choose to remove it i like my chart looking absolutely minimalistic so all i have to do is go to symbol and deselect this section called last so we're on a one h time frame you see this timer going downwards one minute 26 seconds that just means that we're on a one hour time frame this candle is going to close in exactly one minute and 15 seconds so that's like the timer it's a countdown so how long it's going to take for the candle to close so i like to keep it there it just helps me to gauge we also have a timer over here you have a timer here and we have a timer over here so you can choose to either leave it or you can choose to remove it all you have to do is go into settings go to scales and deselect countdown to bar close in order to remove these numbers over here all you have to do is deselect symbol last price and there you have it so in order to make this section even smaller you can actually toggle this section and go from description to ticker to ticker and description so the shortest section the one that displays less information is ticker so you click on this right there if you want to totally remove it then just deselect it because at the end of the day at the end of the day we have our currency pair being shown right here so we don't really need it there you have it this is the color scheme and the chart settings which i use to trade forex 24 7. i've shown you the way you can customize it and use whichever colors you are comfortable with and on that note i'll see you guys in the next one take care